One of my personal heroes and someone who truly inspired me throughout my career is Admiral Grace Hopper. She became a real champion for computer programming, specifically going from machine language to English-based, in other words, human-based language, where people could actually almost talk to the computer in the earliest sense, and really saw the way ahead as far as where computer programming and computers themselves were going to go into the future. I had never had the honor of meeting her, but the United States Navy in her honor named a destroyer the USS Hopper. And I was lucky enough to be there at the commissioning in San Francisco, which was uh, extremely appropriate considering her um, advancements and contribution to the Silicon Valley and to the computer-based industries that was in the shadow of the ship when it was being commissioned. When they were working on the Mark II computer, one of the switches was not working properly, and they found that there was a moth stuck with the, on the capacitor itself so the electrical current couldn't pass through, and that's what was stopping it. So they, of course, removed the moth, and in their logbook, they taped it there, and they said about, this is the bug that stopped us from being able to do this computing. And that logbook is now in the Smithsonian Institute. It's displayed so everybody can see it. You often hear the phrase debugging. Well, that all, that all traces back to Grace Hopper working late nights on an old-fashioned computer removing an actual moth that was stuck in the system. On her, on her retirement, uh, she received the Defense Distinguished Service Medal, which is the highest non-combat medal that a, anyone can be awarded by the Department of Defense. For me personally, uh, she's always been an inspiration, but she never accepted artificial limitations that other people put on her. When we're all in difficult times, it's nice to think about someone who's able to achieve that in her own life and help other people achieve that too.